Hello again, everyone. I'm Daniel, the Cross-Cultural Nerd, here with another video for you today. So, uh, I've been hearing a lot of news recently from BlizzCon. For those who are unfamiliar, that is the big gaming convention done by the company Blizzard about their gaming news. Um, anyway, I've been hearing a lot of BlizzCon news lately. It happened this last weekend. And uh, lots of big stuff out there. Um, new character for new character in Overwatch, yay! Uh, there is one other game that has been making waves, and not in a good way. If you listen to the fan reactions, uh, Diablo is releasing a new installment. Now, before I continue, I should add the caveat that I've never played a Diablo game in my life. I would like to. It's just. I've got a huge backlog as it is, and on top of that, several other games I play are also online, including Overwatch. So, yeah, I might not have time, but I would love to play sometime. Anyway, back on topic. Um, Diablo, the Diablo developers announced a new Diablo game coming out, which of course is really cool because we haven't had one since 2012, and there were just three games in the series. But then it was announced it would be for mobile, for cell phones and tablets. But um, <clears throat> people didn't take that too well. And I watched the video of the reveal today. I didn't have the BlizzCon ticket, so I watched several of the videos after the fact. But uh, I, I watched the video of the Diablo Immortal reveal and not a lot of applause at the news that it would be mobile. And uh, there have been several um, reactions by fans who went there to ask questions at the convention. And two of the two of the ones that have been getting the, some of the most views are one who asked if it was an out of season April Fool's joke, and. Another who asked if it would be available for PC at all, because Diablo is primarily a PC game. And when they said no, it, they had no plans to make it for PC, they got booed by the whole crowd. And to hear people talk, there's kind of a hierarchy regarding gaming. Uh, PC is kind of stereotyped as the top. Some people like to call it the PC master race. I don't like that term, but... That's how some on the internet refer to it. Then below PC, you got consoles. Then you got handhelds. And then below that, you got the mobile platforms, like cell phones and tablets. And PC and console are typically viewed as for the more hardcore gamers. And um, handhelds are uh, partly regarded as more casual. And mobile is often viewed as casual at best and uh, not worth talking about at the worst. So to hear about some storied PC dynamo like Diablo being ported to a mobile game, brand new game in the franchise too, and it's not coming out for PC, it's coming out for cell phone. That would be like a Chinese person hearing that this company that's really prestigious, that's got headquarters in Beijing and Shanghai and Shenzhen is going to open up a brand new facility in Joko. A lot of people would probably have a WTF reaction. And I can kind of understand why people would be shocked. You got PC, 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 phone. However, I did watch through the video, and they announced a lot of cool stuff. It definitely looks like a cool game. Again, I never played Diablo, but who knows? Could be something to try. And... Um, there's one other criticism I want to make of the uh, presentation. When it was, um, when it was asked, or after the person who asked if it would be released for PC asked about that, they answered, uh, it would not be. There were boos. They responded ra rather flippantly, I thought. They, they said, what, don't you have phones? And, and... Yeah, we have phones, it's just we don't normally use it to play a hardcore game. But, I, I was just thinking the way they responded to that was kind of flippant. 
However, they did make a very good point. Near the end of the presentation, I believe it was the last audience question in that particular panel, the audience member asks, why mobile? And the developers made a very interesting point looking at how technology has progressed, and this is paraphrasing, by the way, as quickly as technology has progressed, um, phones have developed to the point where they can have games with awesome graphics, at least awesome graphics for phones. I don't agree with William Chang's statement of our having supercomputers in our pockets. I would not call a phone a supercomputer. I, would, I wouldn't even call a gaming laptop or a gaming desktop a supercomputer, but... The fact does remain that tech has progressed to the point where phone games can have some pretty darn awesome graphics. Games I see uh, played in the MOBA genre and in some shooters have graphics of uh, the uh, PS2 and PS3 eras. We've got Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on phone. We've got um, a lot of MOBAs on phone. There's one it, that's really popular in China. Um, King of Glory, Wang Zhe Zhuang Yao. And it's a MOBA in the vein of Dota and League of Legends, and it's extremely popular, has over 100 million people playing, and it's got some good graphics. I was surprised at the graphics on that game for a phone, mind you. I do play PC and console, but for a phone, it's pretty darn good. And there's this stereotype that phones got to be for casuals, casual gamers, or not for gaming at all. And while I do prefer PC and console and handhelds, and I, do, I just find myself thinking, why not? Um, one thing to take into account that these days, mobile gaming is a cash cow. Uh, Newzoo.com reported in April of this year that as of this year, Mobile games account for over 50% of the global games market now. $137.9 billion in 2018. So, there's definitely money to be made. I'm hoping that they don't go the route of um, crazy amounts of microtransactions with this game. I hope that they make it good. We'll see. It, it, it's definitely a money-making opportunity. And considering the partnership with NetEase, the Chinese company which is partnered with Blizzard in localizing games for China, <clears throat> as someone who has been here for six and a half years and counting, I can tell you from personal experience, mobile gaming is absolutely huge here. Blizzard can make a profit just from China. Much less if you add Europe and, and the Americas and the rest of the world. And so, again, there's definitely money to be made. Uh, one criticism I've heard from fans regarding the NetEase thing, some people have said that... This game seems to be just a reskin of a NetEase game that they made in the past. I think the game was Crusaders of Light. And one of my friends, who I will say is a bigger PC gaming nerd than I am, got curious. And he downloaded Crusaders and played several hours. He personally doesn't feel like it's a reskin. Now granted, this is anecdotal evidence here. I'm basing this on my, the testimony of one friend, but it's encouraging that, at least in his opinion, it did not look like a reskin, and, and, but he does know this stuff more than I do. <clears throat> uh, one encouraging thing I heard, I, I keep bringing up this guy, the guy who asked if uh, it was going to be for PC. Fan reaction videos seem to omit his full question. His, his question led with how Diablo Immortal seemed to be adding a lot of features that Diablo gamers had been asking for. So it doesn't sound like this is just some 
cheap little thing to try to be a cash grab. I mean, mobile gaming has a lot of money in it. The incentive to tr uh, try to be a cash grab is there, but from what this guy said and from what they showed, they got a lot of features that the Diablo community has been clamoring for. That shows me that they're serious about this and they want this to be at least somewhat good. And even though I'm not a fan of Diablo being mobile, it is still cool that phone technology and the mobile gaming community have progressed to a point where they can have such a name as Diablo in, in its ranks. And I think it's really cool that... Um, Blizzard's putting effort into this to make this work. So, will it be good? Will it be horrible? I don't know. As a gamer who thoroughly enjoys this hobby, I sincerely hope it does well. I hope that the community is not automatically turned off by the phrase mobile gaming to the point that they just leave negative reviews while playing five minutes of it. I, I hope that they actually give this a chance. Um, so I wish Blizzard well in this endeavor. And I hope this thing works. Because I've heard good things about Diablo. And I want new additions to the series to be good. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions about me, this video, or this channel, please leave comments in the comment section below. Also, I will have a link to the BlizzCon video I mentioned here and also to the article I cited in the description below. Don't forget to uh, follow me on Facebook at The Cross Cultural Nerd and on Twitter at X Cultural Nerd. I'm Daniel, The Cross Cultural Nerd, and I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye bye.